Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this channel ad free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike. Today we're taking a look at this ink. This is Dominant Industry Standards Collection Base Black. It is a 25 milliliter bottle. This is number number 100. Interesting. See all these cautions on here. Don't use for any other purposes than specified. Don't drink it, etc. Don't don't drink the ink. Let's get in here. There we go. It comes in this little bag. Oh, I shouldn't throw this away yet. It has an eyedropper in there in case you need to use an eyedropper. They all come with that. How neat is that? Okay. Then inside here, you find the bottle, which I think is one of the coolest bottles in the biz right now. Standard series, and this is as opposed to the Pearl series, which have shimmer. This is just a standard, standard ink. 25 mils, little... Uh, Little DI up here, DI looks nice. We have the base black here, uh, really solid, very cool bottle to, to have sitting around. Has a nice cap on these. I like this cap a lot. As you can see, this is a dense, dark, deep black. I was kicked off on a black, um, I don't know, binge is not quite right, but I was really got into black inks with Scribes Onyx, and that has just continued. I've got a few more blacks to show you for sure. Here it is on my Rhodia 80 grams per square meter paper, and as you can see here, it is black with like a fair amount of sheen on top. My light is fairly diffuse, so you're only seeing a little bit of it, but um, there is sheen on like all this, on all this writing, so. That's that's neat. I love a sheening black ink. It's super dark and so dark it shines back at you. Whoa. Okay, the abyss looks also into you. So the flow on this one, medium, maybe a little bit dry. I've had it in this pen for a little while now, and this is a uh, Waterman Kareen in the gunmetal finish, which I just think is the most beautiful version of the Kareen. They have this nice inlaid nib. Mine is a stub. Uh, you can just barely see the ST engraved there as I shine the light past it. So uh, this has been really good in this pen and I've actually filled it two or three times just because I keep using it. This pen makes my my writing, my handwriting look cool <laughs> and, I, and I dig that. So even from this stub nib, you're gonna see a fair amount of sheen and all that sort of thing. It's not a super wet nib and this is not a super wet ink. So, uh, you know, it sort of goes together very well, I think. Uh, here we have a black ink that is worth adding to your collection. Dense color, great performance on bad paper, great sheen on good paper, fun bottle, get it, that's my uh, that's my advice. We'll look at it on copy paper here very soon, but really good on that copy paper. So let's do our water drop test here. And wow, it has really turned that, it has really turned that black, huh? Let's, uh, let's like get a careful shimmy so we can get it over some letters. There we go. Wow, it is. Wow. <laughs> I think I just put water on this ink and just made more ink. This is pretty cool. Now, while this is a little bit on the dry side and it is extremely uh, dense and it does have some sheen, I haven't had any problems with this ink sort of stopping up or having hard starts in this pen. So uh, I'm really impressed by that. Sometimes it's like a very heavily saturated ink like this that exhibits those kinds of qualities, you'll have hard starts and drying up in your nib and it'll be reticent to uh, keep writing if it gets a little bit dry, but this one has had no such issues. It's it's performed very, very well. Yeah, look at that. That's, that's weird. Like a lot of it came up. We got a lot of black here on my paper towel, but there's a lot here as well. Now, would I call that water resistant? I don't know because there's so much of a black splotch here that it would make this difficult to recover if you poured a glass of water on it. You can barely read the this bit here. So I'm gonna say it's not water resistant, although this part right here looks okay. I, I don't know, judge for yourself. <laughs> this is uh, the chromatography for a base black. And guess what color makes up this black? It's just black. Sometimes with black inks, you get a whole cacophony of colors in there as they add in dyes and dyes and dyes to get it to be a black. But this one is just, um, it starts out black and it ends up black. It's, how much more black could this be? No, zero, none. It could be none more black. So very cool. Nothing nothing really to see here though, it's, it's black. Okay, so here it is on my Staples 20 pound recycled copy paper. Uh, this is from that Korean stub and you can see 
I don't know, maybe like maybe in here, a couple of places where you might see a little bit of a feather, but really not really not much. Uh, and I'd be hard pressed to find any, although like maybe on this L, like maybe <laughs> on the back. Look at that. That is excellent behavior on copy paper compared to all the rest of the things on here. This is a black ink. So it's not just that it's not dark like the rest of these are. It just didn't bleed through. This is great. So it's really good on copy paper. And uh, it's really good on even better paper. I mean, it's even better on better paper, of course. This here is Domtar Bold 28, which is from Blank Slate Paper Company. A link in the description, of course. You can design your own, like, lines and all that sort of thing. I've had this for a while. I just need to, I need to use it up. I've been too precious about it. And you can see on this paper, you actually do get some sheen, like, up in here. It's not that the black is lighter. It's that you're getting a reflection from my lighting system up here. Uh, and you're getting, you're getting more of that sheen on the paper. And I love that it sheens on this paper, which is on the good side of average. It's still, it's, it's not as, uh, as coated or anything like Rhodia, but it's not like, you know, super absorbent like this stuff. You're not really going to get sheen on here. Uh, just, well, did, wait, did I, did I get sheen? Uh, not really. I might've imagined that, but on this paper sheen, which is great. Next up, wheat straw paper. Closest analog you'll find to this Inky Fingers notebook. It's going to be sugarcane paper. Here it is with that, uh, that Korean stub. And you'll see it definitely has some sheen. You can see that sheen here in this paper. And also, it's very black. Also, I just love the way that this, this nib writes. Uh, it was stubbed for me by Gina over at Custom Nib Studios. And boy, did they do a great job. It's such a nice pen to use. And this is Galen Leather Company. Uh, this is the Everyday Books Tomoe River paper. And there's the dominant industry base black. Even more sheen here. It looks like it might be kind of green or something. No, nah, that's just that's just sheen reflecting from the light. It looks great on Tomoe River. It works great on Tomoe River. I I really like it on here. I think it's gorgeous. This might be this might be my favorite black. Although I've got another black I'm using right now, which might give it a run for its money. We'll have to see how it goes. We'll have a uh, have a you know. Uh, have a comparison at some point. Okay, let's look at some com some comparisons of different colors. We have here Dominant Industry Base Black. This is on a Colodex card, link in the description. You can find these all over the place. Here is the other black that I'm really enjoying right now, which I've just recently gotten. This is Cross Black, which has a little bit of a sheen. It's got kind of a like a little bit of a sheen right here, but no nothing like the shine you get on base black. It's a different kind of thing, just super duper dark. Then we have here Scribe Ink Onyx, which is what got me back into black inks. I hadn't used a black ink in years before this one. So this really kind of kind of got me back into black ink. So I had this one, I was like, let's try this one. And then they sent me this one from Pen Heaven. Thank you very much, Pen Heaven. And uh, like different kinds of blacks going on. This one, super shiny. This one, just black, black, black. Okay. Then we have Sunspot from, from Colorverse, which is another sheeny black. And this one is a little bit on the dry side for me. If I had a wetter nib, I would probably enjoy it more when I used it. But you definitely see a little bit of sheen on top of that one as well. Sheeny blacks are something I really like. Then here we have Tasha Kuro, which I haven't used yet. And you can see it's also a big sheener, but not like base black. Uh, also, this up here, this is not a smear from... Uh, from like now. It's not current. It doesn't smear now. This is just because I touched it too, too soon after or before it dried basically. So it's not smeary. Uh, but this is this, this has a kind of sheen on top that makes it look kind of Come here. Makes it look kind of I don't know. It makes it look kind of brownish or something, but it's not. It's a it's a black Then Twisby black and Aurora Black, two excellent blacks. A little bit more shine on Aurora Black. Twisby Black, I think, looks really cool. I actually haven't used it yet, but it looks really nice. Way darker than I expected. I don't know why, but I was surprised. And Aurora Black, of course, one of the all-time great blacks. This is a super wet ink. If you have a pen that doesn't want to write, put this in there. And if it doesn't write with Aurora Black, your pen is busted and needs to be fixed. Because Aurora Black will flow in anything that is flowable. Next up, KDBZ Warsaw Dreaming. Another super dark black with a bunch of sheen. I mean, I really like this little like dot of ink, this little drip that ended up on there. <laughs> it's very cool. Warsaw Dreaming, super dark. Uh, and also Colorverse Black Hole, which is kind of a lot like Sunspot uh, right here. Uh, different, different kind of tone, more sheen here on Black Hole than on Sunspot, but different kind of tone, same kind of situation. 
Then Lammy Obsidian from the Crystal Collection, again from John Gold. I got a bunch of these from John Gold, it turns out, which has sort of a more reddish sheen on it. If you if people tell you, look, there's no variation in black inks, they are wrong. And then here are two other all-time great blacks, uh, Platinum Carbon Black and then Sailor Kiwaguro. I actually like Sailor Kiwaguro more. Does this smear a little bit? But these are pigmented black inks. And so sometimes, even though this is an old, old swatch, you will sometimes, if you rub at it and your fingers are maybe a little bit damp like mine are, uh, just at the moment from you know handling paper towels and stuff, uh, you can get a little bit of a smear. Let's see if this will smear too. Yeah, yeah, they both smear a little bit. They're pigmented, they're heavily, heavily pigmented, and I, it is an ink swatch. So uh, that's the thing to watch out for with these, but nonetheless, very, very nice black inks if you're uh, just using them as pens. If you're putting them down as swatches, you can see lots of that pigment just kind of hangs out on the top. All right. So while these can look a little bit matte, this one, shiny, shiny, shiny. So I really like this. I don't know if you can tell, but I am excited about base black. And who knew that I would ever say, hey, it's a black ink. I am excited and you should buy it. But that's the story. Okay. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, you can find this online for just... I mean, the color range, or rather the price range here is wild. Uh, in searching around online, I found the same bottle of ink priced from between uh, $7 and $18. So it just depends on where you buy it. If you get it somewhere that's closer to uh, Korea, I guess, that maybe you'll get it more cheaply. I, I don't know why, but it's more expensive uh, in some markets than others. So do shop around. All right. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, you'll see another video very soon. You'll see me in another video soon. Take care of each other. Hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you are not and uh, leave a comment down below. It helps the YouTube algorithm. So uh, that's it. Peace out.